Live. I'm Melissa Sardelli from Eyewitness News this morning, and thank you so much for joining us. Very excited to be a part of a new station initiative that we're doing, 12 Gives Back. It's where we're honoring local men, women, organizations in the community that are really giving back, that are doing extraordinary things in the community, and really just wanted to say thank you. And with me for our first time ever, we have Providence Police Department Chief of Police, Hugh Clements. Thank you so much for being with me. And we also have Tim Draper, VP of Marketing for Navigant. He is our partner in this new endeavor. So, please, Clements, tell me a little bit about your police department, the men and women that you work with daily. Clearly, it's not a career that a person goes into lightheartedly. It's something where you guys are probably risking your lives each and every day. So, from the top, I'd say thank you to WPRI, Channel 12, Michelle, uh, Tim, Navigant, for starting this initiative and honoring the Providence Police Department on the first, first round. The men and women of the Providence Police do so much in the community, and we're thankful to see it doesn't go unnoticed. We have so many initiatives going on uh, with the community, with the youth in the community. We serve on well over 50 boards in the community. And the men and women of the province police department, from the patrol people to detectives to people up at the training academy, uh, throughout the entire department, really are focused and dedicated and committed to one thing, improving the quality of life for all the residents, all the neighborhoods in the city of Providence. And how do you guys really get ingrained in a community like Providence um, really try to help the people? Yeah, yeah. So it's really in, in an organic way. So we go to tons of community meetings. We meet a lot of people in our interactions in the community. And through that, relationships are formed and friendships are formed. And when situations happen and when things go bad, uh, we have our partners because we do this comprehensively. We do it holistically with the community. Things will go bad. Things will happen. It's a city. It's dynamic. You have the human element. And so we celebrate our success with the community and our partners and our relationships. But as well, we deal with our challenges and our struggles with those same community members and trying to make a certain neighborhood, a certain community, a certain situation better. So it happens organically, and it's, it's real people trying to solve real issues in their community. And you did speak to me earlier about one initiative that you guys are doing I'm not making a statement for working with local children, youngsters, the family an after-school sort of program. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? So but sure, we have so many initiatives yes. going. One is with the Institute for Nonviolence. This another is just another example. With Chicago Department, Police South Department, Department. Alliance, Family Doing Services Rhode do. Island. We have clinicians that ride with Doing the Providence what they Police do. each and every day, as well as from the, the Providence CPD, Center. Uh, Chicago, but that one initiative I, I was speaking so about is with NAFI, North American man. Family Institute, we got a lot of people. where we have a youth police initiative where members of the Providence Police Department go through a program with. 12 to 15 at risk youth. In the beginning of this program, it's not uh, always that friendly. So and this of course, case is another example it's not really a, a level of cohesion. But by the end of the program, there's a great bond. And the young men and uh, also young women women from the community as well uh, put them to the there's a bond that lasts for many years, and many of these young men and young women say at their presentation when they receive their certificate, they would like to become a member of law enforcement, become a member of the Providence Police Department. As well as we have a Providence Police Explorers Program. We've been operational for over 30 years, where young men and women, uh, inner city youth, uh, go through this very detailed program, and there's well over hundreds of graduates from this Providence Police Explorers program who now serve on the Providence Police, Rhode Island State Police, NYPD Police, Department of Corrections. There's police officers all over the state who at one point were in the Providence Police Explorers program. So these are things that we do constantly, and, uh, you know, success is, is great, uh, but, you know, things can happen 
important later on today. We'll be judged on what we do later today and tomorrow, and we're constantly focused on that. And I have to say it is pretty timely because today you were telling me that you do have members from the Chicago Police Department really taking a close look at you guys and exactly what you're doing here in Providence. Good afternoon. Correct. So the issues in Providence are happening all across cities in America, and we're doing some positive things here. And through the Institute of Nonviolence, uh, they've invited 30 officials from the city of Chicago, many from district commanders from the Chicago Police Department, uh, people from the mayor's office, people from the public policy lab, which we deal with here in Providence as well, with Brown University, Roger Williams University. And again, looking at social ills in our community in a holistic way. So this morning, well, since Sunday, we've been hosting the Chicago officials. This morning we had our command staff meeting we have every single Tuesday at 8.30. And uh, I think they were genuinely impressed with the way we're conducting police business in the community in Providence. And uh, we de developed some friendships with Chicago PD and hopefully we'll get to go out there. Anything else you wanted to add in general? No, I, you know what? I, I really need to praise the uh, leadership of the Providence Police Department and the uh, men and women, most importantly. Importantly, they truly grasp and buy into this comprehensive approach of the way we're policing uh, we have in the city, to say to the and they're doing it to boots on the ground, charges, and, uh, and they truly believe it, their cases and they're dedicated and committed to improving uh, to allow the quality of life in this city, and I commend them. Uh, investigated well, I know as a part of this initiative, we just wanted to say a simple to thank you for all the community and service, not and not only ahead. you, but all and, the men and women uh, on the province uh, uh, department, uh, coming in, recognizing you guys, bringing you a warm they lunch, and we have our partner here, Tim Draper from Navigate Credit Union. Tim, why was it a... Uh, so important for Navigate Credit Union and you to be a part of this. Well, we have a lot of community initiatives out there that um, really kind of help us to cultivate grassroots efforts. One of the things that we've noticed is that um, our first responders, police, fire, um, the military, sometimes don't always get that appreciation that they really deserve. I, I have no putting idea their lives on the line what every day. occurred in this case. Uh, and and certainly protecting us in the community. Uh, I can just so we just think it's important that uh, we take time to, to appreciate, celebrate, um, and thank uh, the members of the police department. Today we're here in Providence. That's great. Um, uh, you guys do a... a an amazing job here in the city with uh, I have no some idea. great challenges and some, some great successes. So we're excited to be part of that. Um, and we certainly uh, want to thank you and the men and women of the province police department for everything that you guys do. Uh, plenty we appreciate of people it. forfeit thank their bonds. Okay, and anything else you wanted to add in general about Justin this new initiative is that we are starting to in, in the courtroom in the community. We're looking forward to where we go next, right? Sure we're we're still working on schedules and who else we're going to celebrate. Um, who has dedicated his life know, to public again, service. there's a lot of unsung heroes in the community, people who do things taken, behind the scenes uh, the that you don't really know about. And we're hoping to be able to be a part of that and celebrate those folks, bring a little publicity to what they what they do and how they improve the community. Um, and so I think over the next 12 months, uh, we're going to have a really good time, uh, meet a lot of great people. So we're excited about that. And I have to say that I'm very excited, very honored to be a part of this new initiative. It's so nice to report on something positive and really recognize the people in our community who are doing such great things. So from all of us at Eyewitness News, Chief of Police, thank you so much for all that you guys do, all the men and women who put their lives on the line to keep you and I safe. Tim, thank you so much for your support in this initiative. And we're going to have more coverage.